Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Guru Hub. In today's video, we are going to install VMware Workstation Pro in my Ubuntu 16.04 operating system. To proceed with the following, at first we will have to upgrade our APT, APT installer and then we will also have to update our APT installer. To do both of thing, both of these things, you can open your terminal, and then you can just type or copy or paste these command to your terminal. So if you will go and type sudo apt minus get install update, and if you will press enter, it will update your system, and if you upgrade the same thing the process will gonna take some time so I have already done that so I'm not going to do that so at first if we want to install VMware workstation pro we'll have to install its dependent packages dependent packages means the necessary files that are required for the installation of another software so at first we'll have to copy these command and paste in your terminal if I will copy and paste it it will ask me for my account password and then if I proceed with that I have already done this step if there is something missing your system will download these files from the recommended server, server and you will proceed with the following now we will have to download VMware workstation from its official site to do that you can open your web browser and type vmware and then press enter then you'll go to the vmware official website and then you click on downloads now here you can see different kind of products are available that you can download from VMware sites but we are interested in workstation pro so if you want a free product trial you can click here and if you want to purchase a product you can click here so just for the demo I am going to click on here VMware workstation pro then it's going to ask me whether I want it for Windows operating system or Linux we know Ubuntu 16.40 operating system is a Linux operating system so we'll have to click on downloads now if I click on downloads now that will it will prompt me whether I want to save this file or open with someone else so you will have to click on save file and then click ok if you click ok the this bundle will be installed in your system it's of 439 MB so it's gonna take some time so I have already downloaded this bundle in my system and so the this bundle will be present in my downloads folder as I can see I have already downloaded the system here now we'll have to proceed with the installation phase then you'll have to open your terminal again you can close your browser and other things and to execute this I first will prefer to log in as a root to log in as a root you can type su then it will ask for your super user password so on entering upon root user or super user I can see my dollar has turned into hash then I'll have to go to my downloads folder where I have downloaded this folder to go to that at first we'll click on ls then we'll have to go to downloads and then press ls again so I can see it will shows me it show it has shown me all the files that are present in the system so then now we'll have to execute this command ch mode 
space plus x and then name of the file so for that you can just select on the required bundle copy and paste it name here and then if you will press enter so nothing will happen so it's just its priority or its access control list has changed here so after that you will have to execute the same command but you will have to just use dot slash and then name of the bundle and press enter and if you do that it will show me that it has opened me the vmware workstation installation then you can proceed with the installation step So now we'll, we can see I have just clicked on next, next, next and VM workstation is getting installed in my system. So it's gonna take some time. So be patient. And I can see that its icon has appeared in my that program bar on my left hand side Now the installation has completed. Now to see that VMware, I can just open my applications and type can search for VMware. So if I click on it, Now I can see that VMware has installed in my system. So this is the process how you can install VM workstation in your machine. And if you have a license key, you can enter a license key here, and then it will be stay permanent forever. If not, you can use it for 30 days trial period. So that's all from this video tutorial. And also if you want to uninstall the VMware Workstation Pro, you can execute this command. So I'll be providing each and every of this command in that in the video description link. So that's all from the video. And if you have liked the content, like the depth of the video, you can like, comment this video and share on different locations and if you want further updates regarding VMware, Linux or any other computer topic you can subscribe the Computer Guru Hub channel. So thank you all. Thank you for watching this video. That's all from this side and have a good day.